तुलसी सिद्धांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरी गोष्ठीपति वंदे गुरुपद दंदम भक्त बिंद समित श्री चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्री नंद नंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोदय गोपीजन सयुक्त बिंदावन मनोहर वाशाकुवश के पासिंदु बच पति पावने वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम मुखंकोति बाचालंगुंगलंगतगिरी यत्तमहंग वंदे परमानंदमाधव बृंदावई तुषिदेव पिया वै केशव स्नभक्तिपदे देवी सत्वत् नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरुचनोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीर संकर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्र प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरु भक्ति युक्त भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदर ध्येय सदा परिभवन भविष्य दूहम तीर्थास्पद शिव विरिंचन तम शरण्यम वेत्तिहम पुनतपाल भवादीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरुणारिंद यत्दपल्लवनखचंदमनीछटा विस्फुजीत कि गोवधूष्वदर्शि पूर्णागरस सागर सारमूर्ति साराधि कामयि कदा कृपा करो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नेतानंद श्रीअद्वैत गदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तविंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नेतानंद श्रीअद्वैत गदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तविंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे अजानुलंबित भुज कनुका बुदा तो संकीर्तन कवितर कमलायुताक्ष विशाबरो द्विजरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणावतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तव पाद पंकज सुरासुरबंदि दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति तदा भावान्ूपेन सदा नरान गंगातरंगरमणीयटाकलाप गौरी निरंतर विभूषित बाम भाग नारायण प्रिय मनोंगमदापहारम वाराणसी पुरापति भज विश्वनाथ वागीशजुष्वदने लक्ष्मीजस्वक्षसे जैस्ते हृदय संबीत शृंगमहम भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 
राम राम हरे आमना यो प्राहो तथ्यम हरि मी हो सर्वशक्तिम रसादीन तद्भिन्नाश जीवान प्रकृति कबलितान तद्भिमुक्तांश भावाद भेदाभेद सकलो मोपि हरे स्वाधनम शुद्ध भक्ति साध्व तत्ती मेव इति उपदेशति गौरचंद स्वयं स आमना यो प्राहो तथ्यम हरि मी हो सर्वशक्ति रसादीन तद्भिन्नाश जीवाणु प्रकृति कबलितान तद्भिमुक्तांश भावाद भेदाभेद सकलमी हरे स्वाधनम शुद्ध भक्ति साध्यम तत्तिमेव उपदेशति गौरचंद स्वयं स गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गुरु स्वामी जगत बहुपाद परमंश जगदगुरु से दैट दोज मायावादीज दे आर ऑलवेज बिजी to make bhagwan formless or without shakti they like to prove bhagwan is without any shakti this is the basic effort of basic effort of mayavadis so if we calculate proper speaking more or less we all are a little bit contaminated contaminated with this mayavad the day we can develop 100% faith in guru vishnu the day we can develop 100 100% faith in guru vishnu then we are pure vishnu before that according to the percentage of your belief a lack it, lack of belief you are lacking belief in guru vishnu maybe 5% 10% 20% 50% according to that ratio You are contaminated with Maya Bhat. Po Bhat lamenting. I yesterday also I told the day when the day from when all Maya Bhatis they in the guise of Vaishnava started entering into our Gauriya Mat, Gauriya Bhajan. Then all problems started. Before that there was no problem. Actually, problem started from then. So scientific answer Prabhupada giving, really so. If you say why at the time of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu there was no problem, no, there was no problem at all. A little bit problem there, they always used to eliminate it. Suppose some devotee coming, he is wayward devotee or little bit mumuksha. expecting mukti not devotee if they are coming in front of mahaprabhu or in front of advaita gosai nitanand or anybody sarv gosai immediately they could realize immediately they are not devotee so iq because there was one kind of flood of prema there was flood of prema bhakti even some shortages there in somebody he was bound to rectify himself like ballava charjo i come come to the point not now ballava charjo also he was little bit different he has bhakti everything but still he want to project himself but final treatment was given by mahaprabhu final treatment medicine advaita gosai he also used to give one servant of advaita gosai ramakanto or something he used to speak something about advaita gosai to mahaprabhu he used to uh, request uh, a king for help so this is not bhakti like our choto haridas going with mahaprabhu externally serving mahaprabhu but still having some amnavi balabhadra he is going with mahaprabhu total north india tour cooking everything but what problem what problem you don't know he is supreme lord in vrindavan there was some rumor hey krishna appear krishna appear already appear in, in jamuna hey, you go and see everybody rumor everywhere oh all running ah oh, krishna appear 
everybody foolish man going to Jamuna, they say, yes, Krishna, we appear, Krishna appear. They come back, they are also spreading the news and gradually this news coming in the year of Balabhadra. Balabhadra asking Mahaprabhu, Prabhu, could you please permit me, I can go to see Krishna and Jamuna. So foolish. Krishna is there with him. But he is speaking, Krishna appeared, everybody is speaking. Everybody, Krishna, Krishna appeared there. So if you permit me, I can go. Mahaprabhu chided him, stop here, sit here. Foolish. Krishna appeared in Vrindavan, it is right. It is not wrong. But Krishna, who is Krishna, they don't have. Mahaprabhu there, Krishna appeared, is not false. Krishna appeared in Vrindavan. But the way they are thinking is totally wrong. One day, one gentleman, very intelligent, coming. Mahaprabhu asking, where from you are coming? I am coming from Vrindavan. Oh, you are coming from Vrindavan. Because Mahaprabhu was already in Vrindavan. But Vrindavan, a little bit, Akrur Ghat. Akrur Ghat, men at present, what is what you call Vrindavan, from there, four kilometers. Mahaprabhu staying in solitary place, Akrur, where Akrur took bath, took bath in Jamuna, while taking Krishna Balaram towards Mathura. Purposely, Mahaprabhu staying. Then the gentleman coming, Mahaprabhu, oh, you are coming from Vrindavan. Have you seen Krishna there in uh, Vrindavan? Everybody is speaking. That the gentleman is speaking, no, Prabhu, one fisherman, night time with a boat, one lamp is there, long distance, Jamuna, catching fish. People from distance watching, and there, is a, there is a jewel, I mean, in the Kaliyanak, and Noka is right this. So they say the Kaliyanak, and uh, that fisherman standing, sometimes different pose. They think dancing. So foolish man, they thinking there is Krishna. Whereas Krishna is already there. Balabhadra should understand. He has seen in the way of Jarikanda forest, tiger, lion, but still he is speaking, I like to go to take darshan of. That's mean? That's mean? What do you mean? 100% faith is there in Krishna, Gauranga. If 100% faith, why he is going to take? He should understand. That's not. So this way, actually, Krishna coming in Vrindavan is right. Krishna is Mahaprabhu is Krishna. But nobody understands. The rumor is okay. They are not totally false. Krishna coming in Vrindavan. But who is Vrindavan? Who is Krishna, and where is Krishna, how, they cannot. This way, all of us, more or less, we are contaminated with some Mayabad. We have no 100% faith in Harinam. We have no 100% faith in Harikatha. We have no 100% faith in Dhamma. No 100% faith in you know, Mahaprasadam. This way we are lacking. Lacking some faith, 100%. And that amount is called Mayavad. Prabhupada not seeking you, Prabhupada not speaking, nobody wish now. According to that, we are all contaminated with Mayavad. This is the big problem. So, the sloka I started with is very important sloka. This sloka, Bhakti Minutaku wrote, but under the guidance of Madhvacharya. What Madhvacharya told, what our Jiva Goswami but actually Bhakti Mata wanted to follow Jiva Goswami Pad. The Jiva Goswami Pad also have a link. Priddha Vishnavi. In his, before his writing, he said, I am making my judgment on the, on the, by the keeper of all those previous. He is not going to insult. Madhvacharya, Vidhvacharya. Vidhvacharya, no Madhvacharya. So anyway, almost same. Madhvacharya, and uh, what Bhakti Mutta Jiva Goswami wrote, or Bhakti Mutta, all same. Amnayo Praho Tatyam. To understand Vedanta, these, these are the most basic points. If you forget, cannot understand. Amnayo Praho, Amnay mean, Amnay mean Veda. 
amnayo praho tatyam. Whatever tattva we are getting from Veda. Vedanta also coming from Veda. The end point of Veda is Vedanta. So, amnayo praho tatyam harimiho sarva saktim rasadhim. Bhagavan is decorated with infinity, endless energy and rasa. Amnayo praho tatyam harimiho sarva saktim rasadhim. Ocean of rasa. Tad vinnangsha angsha jivano. The jivas are the vinna, vinna, vinna angsas are of tatastas, tatastas, coming from tatastas sakti. Tad vinnangsha angsha jivano, prakriti kabilitano. They are so weak, they are under the, always under the influence of mind. Prakriti kabilitano. Prakriti kabilitano, they are under the influence of maya. Tad vimuktangsha bhavat. Suppose someday they grow some bhava, I mean bhakti, by the association, then they can cut bondage and go outside. Not that forever. They are, they are in bonded condition. They are in bonded condition. It's okay. Bhakti Mithagur speaking. That doesn't mean they can again stay in bonded condition forever, infinite. Already they are for infinity period, they are in bondage. But that doesn't mean nowhere, never they can go out of mind. Not that. Follow. Someday, by the mercy of Guru Vaishnava, they can go out of Tat vinnang shuang sujivana prakriti kavalitano tat vimuktang shubhavat. Veda veda mupi sakala, veda veda sakala mupi harehe suddha bhakti. Suddha bhakti. But the veda veda sakala mupi means ved or aved. Mane all, all objects, even we, we human beings, all prani, all visible, not visible, visible or not visible, anything, all simult all simultaneously different and non-different. This you can feel is one kind of how is possible? Why different there cannot be if there is difference, there can non-difference cannot. If there is non-difference, they cannot. But this is that's why it is speaking inconceivable. All infinity world, infinity objectives, infinity pranis, prakit and aprakit, all simultaneously difference, different and non-different from Bhagavan. You cannot understand. It is impossible. We know different mean non-different impossible. Non-different mean di different impossible. But it is inconceivable. I mean human intellect cannot go up to that far. Human intellect by applying your brain, you cannot find any solution. How is that possible? Absurd. Simultaneously different or non-different. How possible? It's not possible. That is your conception. But it is hundred percent possible. What is what is what, what is what is impossible in this material platform? What is what is impossible in the material platform that can be possible in Aprakita platform, transcendental platform? What solution is not possible here in the material world? That is that solution is possible here. Sambalinasi, bait and offering. Many times. Bhagavan slok many Aham Bhakta Paradhino Hi Asatanta Ivadijo or Bhagavan or Vishwana Chakuti right? Eh? Shakshad Haritena Samasta Sastai Rukta Stata Bhabhati Vasadvi Kintu Bhavarja Priyabhatasya Bande Guru Hosipa Bhagavan many times speaking Nomi Acharya Maam Vijaniyad Acharya Maam Vijaniyad Nava Manneta Karishit Know it for sure, I am coming as Acharya. Acharya is Krishna? Acharya is Krishna? Yes, Acharya is Krishna. How possible? That answer, Vishwanath Chakudip is saying, Gurudev, Vaishnavas, non different from Bhagavan, that doesn't mean they are physically Krishna. Mane Krishna loved them so much, Krishna loved them so much that they are Uddhav. Uddhava is non-different from Krishna. Bhagavan himself speaking, 
Bhagavan himself speaking, Na Uddhavo Anuopi Mannuno. Uddhav is no less than me. Even there is no gapping. What kind of gapping? Like an atom or molecule. Atom and molecule invisible. That much gapping is not there. Bhagavan speaking, Bhagavan Krishna speaking, Uddhav and me all same. What is Uddhav that is mine? What is, uh, what I am that is Uddhav. All same. So you cannot understand. That is how possible simultaneously difference and non-difference. That is inconceivable. I mean, I mean by material intellect, I mean by the application of material intellect, you can never understand this point. Beyond this material platform, there is one platform, loveful platform. There is one platform of love, absolute love. No contamination, no selfishness. There is one absolute platform. If you can reach up to that point, what solution not possible to find here? If you can reach up to that platform, loveful platform, there you can see really so. Samuel, it is different and different, non-different. Those jivas, they are tatosha sakti. Those jivas, they are tatosha sakti. Bhagavan has different kind of saktis. Basically, basically, basically you can categorize into different three parts. Within that, chit sakti, jiv sakti or maya sakti. Chit sakti, Jeep Sakti are basically three. Or if you think a, a different way, then innumerous way. But basically three. Chit Sakti, Chit Sakti, all transcendental Sakti, Sarup Sakti, internal presenti, internal potency, by the help of which inu, infinity diversity there. Also, Jeep Sakti is Tatasa Sakti, Jeep Sakti is Tatasa Sakti, it is also infinity. From Tatasa Sakti, infinity jivas come. Even dust particle, even if even if it is possible, even if it is possible to count the dust particle on this earth, but still jivas you cannot count. And the avatar of Bhagavan. Innumerous, countless, Chit Sakti, Jeep Sakti, and Maya Sakti. I mean the external potency. External potency. The first day I, to, I told you, Jaya Sanmahitam Jeevaha Atmanam Trigunatmakam Paro Opi Manute Anartham Tatkitan Chavi Paddhati. Vyasadeva Goswami Vada. Bhakti yogena manasi pranihite amale apashyat purusham eh? apashyat purusham mayancha tadapasrayam. After the reading, mayancha tadapasrayam, maya also he saw maya, backside of Bhagavan. Jaya, by the help, by the magic spell of that maya, jaya sanmahitam jiva. All jivas in perplexing condition. They are hypnotized. Jaya sanmahitam jivaha atmanam tigunatmakam. Jivas are eternally, they are very pure. By sarup, by sarup, all jivas are very pure. But at present, due to covering of maya, they are contaminated. They are beyond any maya, but still they are in maya. By sarup, no connection with Maya. By Sarup, Jiva, there is no smell of Maya. By Sarup, when you can take out your actual pure Sarup in the here. Pure Sarup. No smell of Maya. But due to Maya, no, oh, I am feeling pain. He is insulting me. He is taking away with all Maya. Illusion. In this material platform, all honor, all position, all insult, or anything, all Maya. All Maya. But 
Vaishnavi Patishta is not Maya. Vaishnavi Patishta is not Maya. It is arranged by Balaram Nityananda. So, one Vaishnav, when everybody is going to honor him, surely he is not going to accept it. He is going to pass away this honor to his Gurudev. And his Gurudev is going to pass away to his Gurudev. His Gurudev again going to pass us to his Gurudev. This way, in course of parampara, if you go up, all the honor position going unto the lotus feet of Nityananda Balaram, the original Guru. That's why any amount of honor, position, anything cannot touch a pure Vaishnava. Cannot touch. That is called Vaishnavi Patishta. If, if you are less interested, if you are less interested about Vaishnavi Patishta, then you can go to hell. Popa speak. Vaishnavi Patishta, Tata Karanishta, Tahana Kurile, Rabi Be It is a miracle that people, they are making confusion. They cannot understand. Where is Vaishnavi Patishta? Where is material Patishta? All, whole world in confusion. Oh, they think we are very intelligent. Oh, so intelligent. But they are in confusion. They, are, they don't understand. What is actual Vaishnavi Pratishta? What is material Pratishta? They are all in confusion. They hodgepodge. They make one khichuri. Hodgepodge. So, hodgepodge. Khichuri. They don't understand. So, Vaishnavi Pratishta, Tate Karanishta, Tahana Kurire, Rabhive Rogra. So, Bhakti Muttaku writing this way, that by applying this brain, you cannot solve this problem. You cannot solve this problem. You will have to go up to this far. One platform, a loveful relation club. There if you go, you can say, okay, all really harmonize everything. Like, basically, we are ordered, we are ordered to harmonize with Guru Vaishnava. Na? Guru Mukha Padma Bhakya Hidayate Koriya Oikyo Arna Koriyo Moneyas But you don't understand. First of all, basically you are requested to harmonize your heart with Gurudev Vaishnavas. That is the basic one. Then you can reach up. Guru Mukha Padma Bhakya Hidayate Koriya Oikyo Arna Koriyo Moneyasa Very typical. So, as per Vedanta Sutra, we know it very well. It is written in Vedanta Sutra. Shakti, Shakti, Mathur, Abhet. Shakti, Shakti, Mathur, Abhet. I mean, Shakti man, as the man who is pausing the power, who is having the power, potency, and the Shakti, non different. Because Shakti is always staying. Is your power, your power, your power is standing, setting inside you. My power is outside. My power is outside. Your power is inside you. Same, similar way, Bhagavan power, Bhagavad Sakti is there inside Bhagavan. But the only difference is that due to our material existence, we find, we find something different. Like Radharani, we find separate. In Chaitanya Jyotamita, we are discussing, no? Sri Radha Krishna Pranaya Vikriti Ladini Shakti Rasmad Ekatmanau Upi Deho Vedam Gatau Tau eh? This I am saying. They are non-different. Adhyay Ganta to one and single. But still, divided into two parts. Radha Govinda. Or Radharani manifestation, so many. Akaki noi baramate. Alone, Bhagavan cannot play. That's why Bhagavan gets divided. And the two tattva, when submerged, two tattva, Siradha, Govindo, the name of uh, Gorang is Gora. Gora, you know? Bas name of Gorang is Gora. Gora means Go, Gora. Go means Govindo, Ra means Radha. Go means Go mean Govindo. Plus Ramin Radha. So Gauranga, when, when Gauranga come in, when Radha Govindu eternally submerge. Of course, Gauranga Sarup is eternally also present. 
Radha Govinda eternally present, eternal world, and Gauranga also eternally present. But still, for our basic conception, Saurabh Goswami speaking, when Radha Govinda submerge with each other, they paste, paste, then one. Adhikanta. So, as per Vedanta Sutra, we know it very well. As per Vedanta Sutra, it is written, Shakti, Shakti, Matur, Abhet. Shakti man, I mean the man who is having Shakti, and his Shakti, non-different from him. Similarly, same case with Bhagavan. If you find Radharani separately existence, but still you should know, she is the Shakti of Bhagavan. Though you can find apparently separate existence of Radha Govindo, but still you should realize in transcendental world, separate existence of the Shakti of Bhagavan can be possible in the form of Radha. But who is Radha? That is Govindo. Who is Govindo? You see, he is Radha. She is Radha. So in Skanda Puran, it is written. Sa evo sa. Sa evo sa. He is she and she is he. All same. So shakti, shakti matur aved. So veda aved sakala mopi harehe swadhanam suddha bhakti. All infinity world, all objects, all jivas, they are simultaneously different and non-different from Bhagavan. Follow. Veda Veda Sakala Mopi Harehe Swadhanam Suddha Bhakti. And Swadhanam, by the help of which you can attain the lotus feet of Bhagavan, 100% possible. Bhagavan is not formless, or at all if you can find formless, Bhagavan speaking. Bhagavan in Gita, this foolish man, Mayavadi, they don't consider. Already Bhagavan speaking. Bhagavan speaking. Abhyakto hi gotir duksham deho vadhvi rava pate impersonal brahmo impersonal brahmo is bhajan is impossible to to worship to to worship to consent it in formless brahmo impossible of bhagavan speaking in gita to arjun if somebody want to concentrate in my abhyakta sarup impersonal sarup Maybe in Brahma Sarupa I am everywhere. It's okay. But that doesn't, that doesn't mean I have no eternal saru. That doesn't mean I have no eternal saru. I have my eternal saru. In my eternal dham. I can play with devotees. Everything. But Bhagavan speaking, Abhyakto hi gatir dhuksham Abhyakto hi gatir dhuksham Deho vadhi rabapati Any Man, if he like to consent in formless Brahma, even those who are Muslim, Madhav Goswami are putting question. He told me one or two points to connect with Madhav Maharaj. He told me, I said, okay, someday I can connect. One or two points you can get enjoyment. Though it will take time. It will take time, but still, Madhav Goswami Maharaj wanted to prove that Muslim those who are formless Brahma. Madhav Goswami Maharaj, in Bangladesh, at present Bangladesh, they are to India. Some Muslim, Muslim, they are, they are Acharya, Muslim Acharya. Acharya means they are uh, Maulana. Acharya, we should not see. This word is useless. I should not use it. I catch my ear. <laughs> Acharya, how I can say Acharya? Hey, Maulana. Okay, okay. Maulana, it's okay. Maulana, leader of Muslim party, saw Maulana fighting with Madhu Gusima. Hey, Bhagavan is formless. Eh? Allah is uh, formless, all nirvisa. Madhu Gusima speaking, Maulana ji, with folded hand, Maulana ji, why not you consider this point? That if Bhagavan is impersonal, formless, then why, how you pray, Allahu Akbar, how you pray? Whom you are praying? There is back end, null and void. You are praying to whom? Madhu is speaking, you are praying to Allah, Akbar. You are speaking, okay? Allah means, oh Allah, 
you are great. You are speaking. So great mean? Great mean you are indirectly going to uh, indicate the personified Allah. Great who? One vacant place. Nana, one vacant place here. One vacant, nobody there. I can say you are great. A vacant. How? What's <laughs> One back end, nobody there. So Madhu Goswami is giving this example. Maulana Ji, you are praying, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Bismillah, you are speaking. So Allah, you are great. A great mean whom you are speaking. If he is formless, no personified Allah, then Maulana cannot speak. Uh, then Madhu Goswami is speaking. I can request you, you can speak, give one answer to my question. You give appropriate answer to my don't try to hide. You, when you are doing namaz, namaz you know, namaz, namaz you know, Quran, Quran, when they are speaking, Allah, Akbar, when they are speaking, then Madhu is speaking, you are, you are, you are doing, you are attending a prayer, na, in masjid. You are attending prayer in masjid. Yes, I am praying. And then when you are praying, Allah, Akbar, so you speak, you speak perfectly. While you are praying Allahu Akbar, you are thinking some personified Allah or not? Yes or not? Or you are some back end places there, you are. Oh no, actually, we are thinking something, some person is there. Then, <laughs> then, why you like to hide? Why you like to hide? This way, Allah is personified Allah. Per but maybe up to this point you can reach nirvishes. But Bhagavan speaking, to concentrate in formless Brahma is very difficult. That's why yesterday I told him, Mayabadi took decision, Sado Kahanam Hitar Thayo Brahma Rupa Kalpana. We can fit Radha Govinda, everything, for the time being, to concentrate. After I become Brahma, I can throw Radha Govinda, throw out in the dustbin. That is your idea. You are idiot number one, foolish. This is idea, your. So for the timing, sadho kaanam hitar thayo, brahma rupakal puna. It's all wrong conception. It's not good. It is totally wrong conception. So, Bhakti Muttaka writing this sloka, amnayo prahutatam, finally speaking, sadhanam suddha bhakti. If you are going, if you are going to accept Sadguru, and after that you are doing bhajan perfectly, perfectly. Not that Anna Vilas there, nothing. Anna Vilas ita sunyam, jnana karmadi anabritam, anukulena krishna anusilanam, bhakti ruttam. So you are going to contaminate, and uh, then. So Bhakti Muttra writing, Swadhanam shuddha bhaktim evahi. No it for sure, you can satisfy Bhagavan, you can serve Bhagavan we, when you are following pure devotional practice. Otherwise not. Swadhanam Suddha Bhaktim and Sadha, what is the attainable object? What is the attainable object? Sadha means the object you are going to get through your bhajan. It's called Sadha. Sadha means you are doing Sadha. Shadhan means you are trying perfectly. After that, finally, finally what you are going to get. Finally, what you are going to get, that is called the object you are going to attain. That is called prayojan or sadho, attainable object. So, tat priti meva, sadhya tat priti meva. I mean, Krishna prema is our final object. I mean to attain Krishna and love Him. Prema means Prema cannot stay in back end. In a space, Prema. Prema is going to stay inside the heart of devotee and he can exchange Prema with the object of his love. Follow. So what is the answer of Bhakti Mantra speaking? Sadhya, Sadhya, Tatpriti Meva, Iti Upadishati, Gaura Chanda Swayam Sa. Gauranga Mahaprabhu himself speaking that Krishna Prema is the highest and topmost objective. Follow? 
तो कृष्ण प्रेमा इज दाइस्ट ऑफ ओके बट कृष्ण की माँ कृष्ण प्रेमा कैन नॉट स्टे इन द स्पेस कृष्ण प्रेमा कैन स्टे इन द स्पेस कृष्ण प्रेमा कैन स्टे इन द कॉन्टेंट कॉन्टेनर दिस इज माई कॉन्टेनर आई एम द कॉन्टेनर इन विच यू कैन पुट सम ऑयल और रॉस कॉन्टेनर पॉट 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 पुलिस दिस वे एक्चुअली तत्प्रीति कृष्ण प्रेमा कैन स्टे इन ए पॉट वाट इज दैट पॉट माई हार्ट इज पॉट माई हार्ट कृष्ण प्रेमा एंड कृष्ण प्रेमा पॉट एंड हाउ टू एक्सचेंज प्रेमा विथ कृष्ण इफ देर इज नो ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ प्रेमा तो प्रेमा इज देर इन सार्ड मी फॉर हू वाट यूज ऑफ प्रेमा प्रेमा इज देर इन सार ओके बट देर इज नो ऑब्जेक्टिव विथ हुई विथ हूम आई कैन एक्सचेंज प्रेमा दैट ऑब्जेक्ट शुड बी क्लियर ना तत् दैट्स मीन कृष्ण प्रेमा इज द फाइनल ऑब्जेक्टिव दैट्स मीन prema can come inside me and after that i can exchange prema with bhagwan so automatically automatically coming na so so this way amna yo praho tatyam hari mi ho sarva shaktim rasadhin tat binnam shaksha jivan prakriti ko balitano tat vimuktam shubhavad bheda bheda sakalam opi hari he swadhanam suddha bhaktim एंड साध्य तत्पीतिमेव उपदेशति गौरचंद स्वयं स्व इट इज द टीचिंग ऑफ सी चैतन नाउ आई कैन गो बैक टू ये स्टार्ट इज पॉइंट दैट हाउ महाप्रभु वॉन्टेड टू गिव द कम्प्लीट आइडिया टू सर्वमो एंड सर्वमो लाइक टू रिजेक्ट ये स्टार्ट आई टोल्ड अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन शब्द ब्रह्म एंड मेटेरियल साउंड लिटल बीट आई वॉज डिस्कसिंग एंड ऑल्सो आप टू वाट पॉइंट इक्षतेर नो अशब्दम इक्षतेर नो अशब्दम दिस आई डिस्कस वेरी स्मॉल एरिया ऑफ डिस्कशन नॉट वास्ट आफ्टर दैट गौनो चेत न आत्मशब्दम इज अ फॉर्मूला लाइक मैथमेटिक्स यू हायर मैथमेटिक्स यू फॉर्मूला यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर वेन एवर वॉट एवर फॉर्मूला यू हैव टू अप्लाई टू अप्लाई सो देर In Vedanta Sutta, it is written the fifth, the fifth. It is written Gaunos, Gaunos Chet No Atma Sabdam. Gauno mean, what do you mean? Gauno mean which is not valuable. It is not so important. Gaunos Chet No Atma Sabdam. Atma Sabdam mean transcendental sound is surely not normal. not having normal property like material sound follow gauno chet no atma shabdam atma shabdam mean transcendental sound surely not having all useless property like normal sound like i told you are speaking water i am speaking bada he is speaking jal he is speaking pani this all are fake term only for the time being in your life in your lifetime you are using one particular name you fix up your country you speak water suppose you are speak you are taking birth in india bharat next day then you can say same thing you are water pani you can you cannot say english pani english water you are speaking something else russian speaking something else so the same thing what you are speaking indicating water at present latin language actually spanish language whatever you speaking you are using some term but when you are taking birth in bangla you can say jol dao amake jol pan korbo jol dao you can speak in bengali jol khabo <laughs> you can speak again jol khabo like a change they all different so for the time being with this body and surrounding circumstances you find the value of that particular word for the time being but after some time it is useless for me it is useless bada what i can say bada bada is useless. useless for me this way time to time what you are using for the time being that can change i mean any object you are indicating by any particular word that is in use in use in your life for the time being but in long term it is 
fake term. No useless. We only uh, use it for. Huh? Like, you are English speaking a uh, student, a school student. In German, they can say Swila. German Swila, Swila, school boy. Eh? Swila, no? Swila? Ah. This way. Garden, Gaten, they are speaking. So different. <laughs> so this way, these all are the terms for the time being I am using. For the time being. But in long term, eternally there is no existence. In eternal world, you can find no existence. No existence. So, gaunos chet no atma sabdam. Don't try to consider that aprakita sabdo also having some poor quality. No, don't think that. Those were, uh, those were quality available in material world. Material quality don't have. It's an exclusive quality. You should remember it, that speaking. So, gaunos chet no atma sabdam. Now I can give evidence. Yesterday I started giving, but due to lack of time, I couldn't speak clearly. Suppose Madhavindu Puri path crying, out of laughful. Madhavindu Puri was crying heavily. Radhavindu Puri said, Oi Dindayadonath, Oi Dindayadonath, Mathuranath, Kadavalakashe Hirdayam, Tadalok Kataram, Daito Brahmati Kim Karomya. Madhavindu Puri was crying. I was speaking, oh Dindyardunath, hey Mathuranath, where are you gone? I cannot see you. But if you think Madhavandu Puripa speaking some material sound, which is just like water, bada, not that. When Madhavandu was speaking out, then be sure with the sound, with the sound itself, Vrindavan present. Krishna, Mathuranath present. But you cannot see. You cannot see. You cannot believe. Oh, possible, Maharaj. And then? You cannot believe. Kali Kale Nam Rupe Krishna Avatar. In Kali Kal, Krishna coming as a sound incarnation. So why you cannot believe? Sound is so powerful. From sound, all this infinity world appeared. Infinity world from sound. You cannot believe. Sound is so power. So, Chatusloki Bhagavatam was spoken by Krishna to Brahma. That also sign, thus, that also Aprakita Sabda Brahma. By speaking Aprakita Sabda Brahma, by speaking Aprakita Sabda Brahma, Krishna wanted to teach Brahma with Aprakita. He wanted to motivate him. He wanted, he wanted to motivate Brahma. Follow. And finally, when Brahma got initiation, it is in Brahma Sangita, I already discussed in Brahma Sangita. Shabda Brahma Mayam Benum Badayantam Mukhambuje. You go open Brahma Sangita. You find this sloka. Shabda Brahma Mayam Benum Badayantam Mukhambuje. This sloka. When Krishna playing on the fruits, I mean, then come guy three entering Brahma. Reaction, big evolution inside heart. Big evolution. So, our Prakita Sutta Brahma must have a positive and great evolution inside your heart, provided you are sincere, no duplicity there inside you. Follow? So, or Prakita Sabda Brahma, when Madhavindu Puripad speaking Krishna, then Krishna himself present. When Madhavindu were crying Krishna, then Krishna himself present in the sound. That you cannot believe. Atma, that is called Gaunas Chetna Atma. Gaunas Chetna. Gaunas Chetna Atma Sabdam. Atma Sabdo. Matlab means those who are transcendental sound is not vacant. I mean the I mean the sound, I mean the sound, I am using Mathura, I am using Mathura, the sound Mathura, the sound 
and the object itself all same, similar. If you now very trust, trusty, suppose now you are very trusty, water, 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 I need water, water can come to you. Suppose you were in a desert, desert. suppose you discover yourself in a desert, and thought, I need water, 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 water can come to you? No. Because the sound, the sound water and the object water is totally different. No connection. We for the time meaning can connect. Ah, to understand. But in true sense, there is no connection. Water is a water. What is a word you are using? And mean one liquid, colorless, which can I can drink and feel comfortable is your feeling. You are habituated. You have some idea. Physical property of water. But that doesn't mean water and the word water. That the word water and the water all same. You cannot say. All different. Water, object, what is water and the name water, not same. All different. But in case of Aprakita Sabda Brahma, if I speak, if Madhavendra is Krishna, Krishna is present. The sound I am using and the object I indicate, all same. Mathura Nath, then in Mathura is also present. Ha, Vindavana Chandra, Vindavana present. You cannot believe it. Someday, if you can become Siddha Mahatma, someday you can become Siddha Mahatma, in course of your doing Harinam, you can see all everything. You need not go to Govardhan by plane, ho, oh, boom. You can see everything by sitting here. All visible. Radha Kun, Sam Kun, all Govardhan, everything. Clearly. Even more clearly. Even more clearly than you. You are physically going to watch. But they can see from here. This is the, this is the point. You should realize. Bhajan, without understanding anything, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. This is not Bhajan. After hearing all those scientific points, you will have to realize. Because in Shastra it is written, Siddhanta Boliya Chitte Nakaro Alas. Yaha hoite Krishna lage Sudhira Manas. In Chaitanya Shazam. Oh, Siddhanta is very difficult. Ah, I can do only Hare Krishna. It's okay. Siddhanta Boliya Chitte Nakaro Alas. If you saw lethargy, if you so laziness to realize uh, tattva vigyan, you cannot get rigidity. But don't compare it with Gorgisar Baba and Jagan. They they uh, don't compare this guy. This is a Gorgisar Baba, not. They already, their tattva appear inside there. Maybe they are not passing lecture. Maybe they are not passing lecture. But all tattva clearly there. All tattva digest like you are eating. After that digestion, after that assimilation. Assimilation means all the juice of your food or intake, all can go in each and every blood vessel. Then you can get energy. So they already having. Externally you can find, externally you cannot find any education with them. But it's a miracle. They are having all tattva Everything. But externally, they are not going to pass lecture in any as, assembly. Their case is exclusive. Bhamshi Das Baba, Jagannath Das Baba, they are present. That you cannot compare. But what I mean to say, our Acharya Krishna Das Kubira Goswami, if you are, if you are not feeling energy, oh, tattva very hard. Kirtan is more practical. You do Kirtan, we can play Kartha, it's more sweet. Ah, Siddhanta is very hard. How? Oh, I cannot understand. This is not good. At present, this is the situation in a whole devotional field. Whole. Somebody like to make fool of you. Another somebody like to make fool of you. One man going for preaching in, it, in any country. He is going to speak, bye, 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 bye. Another Acharya coming, and 
he is coming. He is not going to protest against him. He is not. That Maharaj told it is wrong, not speaking. Because they want to make some harmony. Present. This is not actually harmony. At the present. Oh, he need not speak. Reconcile, okay. Uh, he is taking money, pranami. I can also speak Harikatan. Uh, what is concern to me? They are not going. But our Bhakti Vaibhapuri Bhai Maharaj, when he want, I don't want to name, is my, my desire is not to insult anyone. My desire is to represent the fact. Follow. So, he went there in preaching. He went there in preaching. Whenever he is hearing some acharya spoke or wrong Siddhanta, he is taking the book written by him, that acharya and throwing it. Help! 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 No direct feeling, only compilation of some, some compilation of some rasa thought. Throwing book. Taking the book and thought, give me, don't give me. It's not his direct feeling. So you see, this kind of. But everybody cannot do. All they are going and preaching. Oh, let him say, there's honor. We are giving honor to each other, not Tinadavi. Sam Baba, no Tinadavi. Not at all. It's more practical to speak. That's why he's speaking this way. They have Tinadavi. That's why they can go for reconciliation. They can make fool of you. They cannot protest against any wrong Siddhanta. Because it's more practical. More practical, no? This is their preaching. But Madhav Goswami Maharaj never done it. Madhav Goswami Maharaj, whenever, wherever going, even he wanted to relate all incident with our Guru Varga. I like to one or two points, very important. One day, there was many times, it is our luck that we got a great exalted devotee like Bhakti Vita Madhav Goswami Maharaj. Bhakti Vita Puri Goswami so lucky. Prabhu, if you go through scrutiny, make, you can go mad. You can go mad. We cannot pay him. At present, what they are doing, that is there. Madhav Goswami never wanted to teach that way. Yeah, you can say, at present, what they are doing? At present, what they are doing? Madhav Goswami never told. Prabhupada never told what they are doing in that mart, in original mart. Nobody, Prabhupada never told. They are going to disobey him. So what kind of situation at present prevail, prevailing, that is up to them. Prabhupada wanted to speak this way. So, Madhav Goswami Maharaj was the only such personality. We used to open one big tent in, in uh, what is called, uh, na, in Ganga Snan, uh, what is called, uh, Elehabad, 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 Ganga, Kumbh Mela. In Kumbha Mela, there is one Kumbha Mela. In Kumbha Mela, there is big arrangement. All different sampradayas all over the world, not in India, they can come. They have the right to come. They are taking bath in Ganga, auspicious moment. And they have their separate, separate tent. Suppose Madhav Maharaj, on behalf of Chaitanya Guru, they open one big tent where devotees can come. Here, Harikatha, or there is one common, common platform also there. All different sadhus assembled there. Different Gauriya Sampradaya, Mayabadi Sampradaya, Ramanuja Sampradaya, Madha Sampradaya, all they are allowed. They are coming one by one, they can speak their own philosophy. Follow? In that assembly where, where Parambuja Madhav Goswami Maharaj was invited to speak. Tall figure, so nice looking. After looking at Madhav Goswami, you can pour down. No need of hearing Harikatha. No need of hearing. I, I speak truly. Banadev Goswami Maharaj, Prabhu, you don't know the brightness of Bhagavad. Banadev Goswami Maharaj was not fair like you. You are fair, no? Complexion. But Madhav Goswami Maharaj, hey, actually, <coughs> Banadev Goswami Maharaj is not fair complexion. But still some light coming. Brightness, some light coming about body. Oh, nice. So, now Madhav Goswami Maharaj is uh, invited there. Madhav Goswami are going there. All Mayavadi, big, big, they are sitting with all uh, this kind of tilak. This kind of tilak. They are not doing this, they are this kind of. 
Tilak, Mayavadi, and they are sitting. Even the leader of all, leader of all Sampradaya, his name is Karpatri, is the topmost Mayavadi. His Bhairagya is material Bhairagya, but still this kind of Bhairagya, not all. He is using his hand. Whatever he is getting in hand, that much, that much thing he can eat. That's it. His name is Karpatri. Karpatri means pot is itself is his hand. Water, this way. Not glass or pot. Anywhere is going, he is not using any car, train, bus, all working. Cloth is also very short. Big, big Bhairagya. Well, of course, this Bhairagya has nothing to do with Bhakti. I, by the way, I am speaking. So that Karpatra is the topmost, uh, you know, knowledgeable personality. Topmost, you know, he is present there. He is speaking so many Siddhanta Bichar, all other. Finally, Parame Madhav Goswami Maharaj was invited to speak something. Then Madhav Goswami Maharaj started speaking about the secret philosophy of Gauranga, very sweet way. After hearing, after hearing all assembly becomes stop. They become stop. And Karpataji, who was who was the president, I mean the I mean the assembly was presided over by this Karpatri. Karpataji Maharaj finally going to conclude today's discussion. Karpati Maharaj taking the mic and speaking. The, everybody speaking their own respective philosophy, all okay. But what Parambhita Madhugusi Maharaj speak, this is final. Mayavadi speaking. What Madhugusi Maharaj told, that is final. Nothing more than that. This is our Guru Bhargava. They don't fear. Even they are going in front of Mayavadi. Many times it happens. In Punjab, Madhugusi Maharaj giving, Madhugusi Maharaj never fighting with anyone. Mayavad is speaking heavy. Madhu Goswami polite, polite mood, giving answer. So, so, I can come to the original point actually. Gauno schet no atma sabdam. Mane atma sabdam or prakito sabda brahma is not so cheap like material sound. Material sound, not like. It has a reality, eternal reality. I mean, the object and the word you are using to indicate that object is all same. Mango, mango I speak, but mango is separate and the name mango is separate. This is, so don't try to be excited anytime if somebody, if somebody is speaking all rubbish to you, all rubbish insult you, don't speak, Krishna speaking. If somebody out of his craziness is going to speak all rubbish. To me also. All rubbish somebody is speaking. When I am giving answer, they know. Bengali, Hindi, English, so many. Of so many also, so many devotees also appreciate. And so many out of jealousy speaking all rubbish. All slag language. But I am not speaking. I am giving answer in a sweet way. Because I am not excited. Whatever he is speaking, is material, the man speaking, the man who is speaking this, he is material, what he is speaking material. Eh? So what I can? I should not pay, become excited. So Bhagavan speaking, Bhagavan speaking, you know, uh, teaching to Uddhav. Uddhav, Oti Badam Titik Sheta Nava Maneta Karhichit. Don't become excited. Atiba Adam, if somebody is speaking all big, big slag language to you, but still keep silence, don't speak. Because you should understand those words, those, word, those words that man using or the sentence man using, it is not eternally present. He is speaking, all can get finished. Bhuta Akase Bhilinvaya. But eternal sound has an eternal existence. So I must pay attention to all aprakita sabda brahma, not to any material or material. He insult me, you know. He is not inviting me. 
this way, all they are fighting with each other. Fighting with each other, like foolish. Those who are pure sadhu, you believe me, those who are pure sadhu, those who are going to realize the absolute truth, they are getting some property. Surely they are not going to lose that property by fighting. One time if you're fighting, one time if I fight with one, uh, you know, dangerous man, Mayavadi, fighting, then I can lose all. I have no bhakti, but still whatever, but still I can lose. I can lose everything. So, tarka is prohibited. Tarka, logic is totally prohibited. Tarka, apratishto, sutayo vivinya, naso munir jasa matam na vinyam, dharma satatyam, nito guhayam, mahayano jenu gatu sapantha. I can explain this point tomorrow. Today, no time actually. So, anyway, so gauno shetna atma sabdam. You should realize. This is very important all the time, all what is written in Chaitanya Chutamito, what is written in Vedanto, what is written in you know, Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Bhagavatam, all eternally present. Those are not material sound. Those are not material sound. Have some a, eternal existence. And those material people fighting with each other, boxing with each other, all material. That's why in Gita it is written, when all people fighting, even in the temple, they are fighting for Pratishta. Then wise man, when they are realized soul, they are laughing. They are laughing, not speaking anything. Because all temporary. They know they are fighting, it is the magic spell of Maya. Due to Maya, I can explain tomorrow, at the time of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, all their center point was single, only seva. No material man is allowed or at all innocent, no material man coming, having no Vaishnava Parada. He, he was converted, converted into devotee. That was the power. Many material men, many, all converted into, many material men, they all, all converted into devotee. That power at present, you don't have. In Gita, Bhagavan speaking, Arjun, when you find unnecessarily uh, fighting, each other, fighting, boxing. Bhagavan speaking, those who are really realized soul, they are not paying any attention. Because Shatogun or Rajogun, or Rajogun and Tamogun fighting with each other, don't understand. Guna guneshu vartanti iti matya na sajjati buddha. Bhagavan speaking, those are really, they can, they can laugh, they can see. Tamagun is not now fighting with Rajagun. Some man having Rajagun. Hey, you are speaking. Tamagun, I can cut you. They are fighting. Then wise man thinking, guna guneshu vartanti. He is not going to involve in it. He knows it is, it is the nature of prakriti, nature. Nature of prakriti. Because that man having tamo nature, tamo nature, tamagun nature, and that man having rajagun nature, and nature also coming from prakriti, maya. Your body is maya, your mind is maya, intellect maya. So, maya is fighting with maya. Ah, big fighting. Guna, guna, subartante, iti, matta. By realizing this, they are not going to participate. They are not going to give, take one side. They are not going to take one. Hey, you are doing wrong. He is doing nothing. When they are coming for Maharaj, you please speak what to do. Then he can speak. Otherwise, he cannot speak. It's the same thing with Bhakti Minut Thakur. So, all material qualities, they are in fighting mood. Suppose you have one material qualities, you can pass lecture. And some other man is speaking, he is growing proficiency. I can better, you know, you know, I can suppress him. All material quality. He can pass a nice lecture. It is material quality. And another man growing jealousy. He is passing so much lecture. I can suppress him. I cannot allow him. In political level, in educational level, everywhere. 
in sport level also. If you give bribe, then they can allow you to play. If you are not giving 25 lakhs, 30 lakhs, you will have to give. Then they can allow you. And you are qualified, so still they are not giving because you have no money. Same thing in our devotional field. If you have no money, then nobody can give honor. Of course, they don't honor. They never expect any honor. Those who are having money, this is the present situation. That's why our poor condition everywhere. Because they are not going to give any honor to any particular appropriate person. Now, at present, appropriate person not getting appropriate honor. False person going appropriate honor. Which is you should not give. But you can. That's why the situation becomes very complicated all around the world. Very complicated situation. Competition going on. Competition going on everywhere. What question of competition? I am. I am actually. I like to do bhajan. You also like to do bhajan. Where from this competition mood can come? Or at all competition coming? That is a practical competition like Radharani and Chandravali fighting with each other. Oh, that is separate. I can speak tomorrow. That is totally separate. You cannot compare it with. Like Madhav Goswami Maharaj like to uh, deliver the place of uh, Abhirbhav of 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 Prabhupada. And another of his godbrother like to stop him. He is arranging in such a way so that he cannot do. Fighting going on. He like to do, he like to do. So finally, Madhu Goswami has come out successful. Follow. They wanted to arrange the situation in such a way so that Madhu Goswami cannot do it. Cannot do it. Even last time, stay order. Opponent party wanted to issue a stay order. They pay so much money and stay order of the case. And by chance, you see the luck. By chance, that day was that day was holiday, so that application could not reach. And Madhu Goswami in the meantime, registration done. Registration. I'm in their place already. So the next day. That, you know, because that day, that time there was no computer. When the paper they got, already registration done. When registration, land registration, property registration done, then no question of stay order. Otherwise, they wanted to plan, so the stay order, stay order mean, uh, for, for six months, there is stay order for this case. After six months, for one or two days, you can hearing is there. After that, again, six months, a stay order. They are planning by paying money. So the never you can get solution. So what you can say? This is the arrangement of Prabhupada. Otherwise, how possible? They are making, uh, today they are going to stay order arrangement and tomorrow holiday. So by chance it could not reach. And the next day, Mahat, registration done. So, anybody can come against that absolute truth fighting mood, but they cannot stand. Absolute is absolute. So tomorrow, I can more elaborated way, I can speak about Gauno Shet Nat Musabdam. At the same time, the last slok, after that I cannot discuss, I can enter into what discussion going on. This is the basic conception. Uh, I, want you, I want you all grow, basic conception. So the last of Vedanta, Last, at last, what is the last Vedanto? Yesterday I told. Anabriti eh? Shabdhyat, Anabriti Shabdhyat. What do you mean by that? Is the last, extreme last. That you can understand. Then you can understand on the basis of which Sarvama Vartaja is fighting and how Mahaprabhu giving answer just in, inside Nilachal in one place. They are both sitting and discussing, going on. Long discussion. So, finally, Mahaprabhu was successful to melt the heart of Sarvam Vartajajo miracle. Sarvam Vartajajo himself told, My heart was like iron. My heart was like bajra, thunderbolt. How you melt my heart? 
Now my, my heart is already melted and it's like a butter. Follow. Tomorrow I can discuss how all the devotees, their mood of serving, how they used to serve Mahaprabhu. No party politics, nothing. At present, everywhere contemplation. Anyway, so Amnayo Praho Tatyam Harimiho Sarva Saktim Rasadin Tad Binang Shang Shajivano Prakati Kavalitano Tad Bimuktang Shubhavad Vidavid Sakala Mepi Harehi Swadhanam Sudha Bhaktim Sadhyo Tat Priti Meva Iti Upadishati Gaura Chando Swayam Sa Bancha Kalpatarusike Pasindabi Patitanang Pavanebho Vishnabhu Namo.